And hello everyone, and welcome to the inaugural episode of The Breakaway. Yeah, all right. Uh, just a little bit about the show here. Uh, we're part of the Tampa Bay Juniors, the United States Premier Hockey League Club. Uh, we're gonna get some insight into our last game with uh, head coach Garrett Strutt, and we'll talk to a couple players from uh, both Elite and Premier uh, this week. Last Friday, the Tampa Bay Juniors exploded in their home opener against the Blades Friday night. Elite scored six goals, including a power play tally on 35 shots. And six different skaters scored with scoring their first elite goal and two others securing their first point. Jake Duhame and Milan Levchenko each finished with a goal and an assist. And Cooper Hunt tallied two assists. Bryce Nurley also had two, a goal and two assists with two others picking up a point. Premier, which just as explosive, scoring three goals in the first 30 minutes of the game, two which came from rookie A.J. Bugen. Despite nearly blowing their four goal lead, their penalty kill came up huge and gave them a chance to take momentum. Five players tallied their first point in the league, including A.J. Bugen, who had two goals and an assist. Rookies Noah Wiesjohn and Bo Cornier and Jude Gunther also picked up their first goals. And Jack Flair and Philip Kuba contributed their first goals at the premier level. Four other call-ups, Ryan Bahula, Adam Custable, both had assists. And now to hope with our reek in review, uh, head coach Garrett Stratt. All right. All right, coach. Happy Thursday. Welcome to the first episode of The Breakaway. So you can let's tell us the first episode. Yeah. We gotta yeah. work on some stuff. Gotta like work on some Aiden stuff. Over yet too. We're coming from Top Shell Sports Lounge in the arena here. Yes. Right above our beautiful yep. home. They were very yep. gracious to host us here. So let's talk about Elite first. They secured a 6-2 victory over the Blades Friday night, and they looked really good. Tell us what you were happy about with that win. Uh, especially just, I mean, just early in the season and stuff like that. I thought the guys played really well. They played a lot of energy. They moved the puck well. Uh, you know, a lot of times you don't see that early in the season and that. But, uh, no, I was really happy with just uh, the overall effort, just the whole play. Now, who else, who else stood out for you in that win? We talk about uh, that line of Duhame, Levchenko, and Hunt. They've scored a combined six points uh, with Duhame and Levchenko each a goal and an assist. What, what made them successful Friday night? Well, it, 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 those three, I mean, they, they all got good skill. They got good speed. And uh, Duhame's going to be on here in a little bit. But he really worked hard this summer. And you can just see it in his, his explosiveness and, and uh, on the ice with, with the skating. And all, but all three of them have very good hockey instincts. Uh, Hunt came over from... Uh, uh, Hampton Rhodes, and, and you could just tell that he uh, he's got very good skill and sees the ice really well. And uh, the Shankle has a you know real good skill also. So they all three and they all three play well together. Anybody else stand out for you in that win Friday for Elite? I hope the whole team uh, got played pretty well. We were we were really happy with everybody. We had a couple of old uh, fives. Uh, another player, a Creighton, who's going to be online with. Uh, with Laskavich, they never played forward before, and it was their first game at forward. They, they did a great job, I thought. And, uh, but it was all, the whole lineup, I thought, played really well. Now let's talk about Premier. They blew the doors open, scoring five times in 30 minutes. Why were they able to score it with such frequency early on? Again, I think it was the same thing. They, they first period, they came out with a lot of energy. And again, they, they moved the puck well, and then we got some good offensive players this year. And, uh, you know, the, the kind of breakdowns, they're going to get it. And... Um, so, uh, yeah, a lot of it just uh, it was one of the best, I think, opening periods we've ever had as far as the game one season. Okay. So now A.J. Uh, Bugen scored two goals in the first period. What did you like about his game? Yeah, a A.J.'s a very skilled player, came from Minnesota. He's uh, got really good hands, uh, very patient with the puck. Uh, one of his goals, we were all looking at each other, the coaches, just how he caught it. It was a hard wrap up, up, the, up the ice on his backhand, stuck right there. He didn't lose a stride. And, and just it made it, you know, for him, it's just a nice little move. And and, and and I thought his other his other goal that he got was a nice one because he went hard to the net. And uh, a lot of times you get players like that. As a first-year player, they kind of want to play in a perimeter, and he went hard to the net, and Nelson found him right in the back door. It was a great goal. Yeah, so a lot of new guys in the lineup, both in Elite and Premier, but especially Premier. Uh, was it expected for all these guys to come in and score right away like that? Yeah, we felt we had a really good group. I mean, we had, uh, I think, half of our, we had like, like eight guys, eight, nine from Minnesota. We had another eight from our elite team, our top line elite last year. Uh, Bahula, Fleer, and Custable, I thought, played really well. It's just stepping right in. And um, and the guys that we recruited, we we felt they were goal scorers and a little bit faster than what we had in the past. 
So that, that's, I'd be honest with you, I really wasn't that surprised. Now, penalties did seem like a problem for both teams, but particularly the PK went seven for nine, and the Premier's unit might have saved the game. What in the penalty kill made them so successful, especially in some high tense situations? Yeah, yeah, the team's power play wasn't very good. I mean, it was the first game, they just started, so it really wasn't anything we did in the kill. I mean, our guy, we have more quickness, but, you know, power play is tough beginning of the year, and, um, and we'd hardly worked on the penalty kill. So it was just, it was just more testament of uh, guys having good sticks and uh, moving their feet. Nice. Now next up is Palm Beach, a brand new organization. Talk to us about what you'll be looking for from both Elite and Premier this week. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Uh, you know, brand new team, no, new staff. Uh, their staff came from the Northern Cyclones, which is always one of the top teams up north. And uh, so I expect them to not be like a typical first-year team. I think they're going to have some really good players. Uh, they have a good pipeline of guys, so I expect them to be a, you know, a good team right off the bat. And now being that Palm Beach has yet to take the ice, and we'll wrap up with this one. Talk to us about the struggles of preparing for a team with no film and no stats on a lot of these guys. Yeah, so right now, this early in the year, we're more worried about ourselves than the other team. We start maybe later in the year and getting towards playoffs. We start working on what we're doing against the other team. But right now, we're more worried about ourselves and making sure our guys are playing the right way and doing the right things. Awesome. Thank you very much, Garrett. And we'll look forward to talking to you next week. Yeah, each week. I love it. Thanks, Christian. Absolutely. All right, head coach Garrett Stratt here from Top Shelf Bar and Grill. Here above our wonderful home here at Advent Health Center Ice. And now I'd like to welcome our two premier guys, the first ever guest on the breakaway, a dangerous new brewer co brother combo from Mound, Minnesota, Britt and Bo Cornier. Oh, hi, gentlemen. How you doing? Great. great, great. Nice, great. nice. Well, so we'll start with some hockey talk. You guys connected on Friday for a goal that, that gave your team quite a large margin. Kind of take us through what, uh, what went through your mind and what unfolded. Uh, I kind of saw a loose puck come off the wall, and at the corner of my eye, as passing the blue line, I saw Britt get off the bench, and why not get the first goal with my brother on the assist? So I dropped it back to him, and he gave me a good pass back door. Now... I hear you guys have never actually played together. Uh, how, is, how is that possible, being that you two are brothers? Um, so, uh, freshman year, he decided to leave for another school in Minnesota. And uh, me and my other brother, I was a junior at the time, uh, we played for a high school uh, mound, and he played for Breck. And, uh, yeah, we just, he just decided to go there. I don't know, he has a story behind that. but uh, At first, I decided to go to... A different school, not for hockey reasons, but uh, they had a very challenging school, one of the most pristine high schools in Minnesota, academic-wise. And at that point, I think I just needed a change to test myself, not, not only on the ice rink, but also in the classroom. So you're a big academic guy. What's your favorite, what's your favorite subject? I wouldn't say I'm a big academic guy, but my favorite subject is definitely history. History. Oh, what's your, okay, uh, is there a specific time frame you like? Um... Early 1900s, uh, oh, good. also late 1900s too, but both Early 1900s, yeah. that's a good choice. So tell us about the Cornier family back home up in Minnesota. Give us an insight into uh, what life was like growing up for you two. Um, so we uh, kind of grew up on the lake, so we were just uh, going on the lake a lot. Um, it's more hockey. Our, we're a total hockey family, so everybody in our family plays hockey, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Like what he said, both we're a pretty big hockey family. Everyone in our family, including siblings and parents, played hockey at some point, and we kind of just evolved our family around hockey. Everything was hockey, and you know it's something that I love about our family. We're so close knit, especially with hockey. Do you guys have like a favorite memory? Christmas on the lake is the first thing you do. You get a new pair of skates on Christmas, and you go out on the lake. Yeah, going on the lake and when it's frozen up and play a little pondy is it's probably the best thing in the world. Just playing with your friends and stuff, but. Yeah, just living on the lake and going out there with your family and stuff whenever you want. It's just, it's awesome. All right, so moving on from hockey, what do you, what do you guys like to do besides hockey? You know, you said you grew up in a primarily hockey family. Is there anything in particular that you guys do away from the ring? Uh, I like to play Xbox. Oh, what do you I, play? Uh, I'm a big, uh, I'm a big in the Apex right now, Apex Legends. That's about it. Uh, I'm the same with him, Xbox guy, and probably just getting into other sports. 
Um, I was a big, just being around sports in high school. So it, yeah, watching football and stuff is. Wow, who's your favorite football team? Vikings, Skull. Minnesota Vikings. Skull. Skull. <laughs> skull. <laughs> you guys playing at college football at all? Or you, um, or just mostly the we pros? like to watch the golfers. That's about it. The golfers? Yeah, big big Minnesota guys. Yep. Um, uh, what's some of your favorite hockey memories? Uh, it's not the best memory, but it's probably the most memorizing one is uh, me and my older brother when he was a uh, freshman, and my, me and my older brother were uh, in mound. Uh, we eventually found each each other playing in sections against each other. So it was me and my older brother versus him. So it was. Did you get hit? Yeah, by yeah. my brother. <laughs> yeah. Older brother. Yeah. yeah, but we did lose and we gave him a lot of backlash for it. But, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so what made you guys want to come down to Tampa? I know you had your brother here before you did, but especially you, Britt, uh, you know, so many places to play, especially yeah. Minnesota. What, what made you uh, come down here? Um, I had a couple of buddies down here uh, the year before I came down, and they always told me just to come play for, just play hockey and come down here. And, and I, I was looking around like for other places, but this is honestly the best spot. I talked to all my uh, past coaches, and they told me to go here because they thought it was the best spot for me. And I'm glad I picked uh, picked down here. And can't go wrong with the weather too. Yeah, and I also I saw that you played ACHA before you came down here. So what motivated you to kind of switch from ACHA to to come back down here and play um, junior? I just didn't really want to do school. I just wanted to focus on hockey. And yeah, coming down to Florida with my brother and a bunch of my friends is probably the best option for me. And yeah, nice. So this was for the both of you. Now we'll start with uh, we'll start with you, Bo. What's been your favorite thing about Tampa so far? Have you gotten the chance to get a look out and about? Uh, yes, a little bit I have, but since with uh, hockey going on, uh, not really much as I wanted to, but of course I like love the hockey and I love being down here. Um, the guys are great, the teammates are great, coaches are great, and I think that's what I love about this place most. Nice. Well, awesome, guys. Not well, hey. Here, nah, not you. <laughs> Uh, what about you? Any, uh, what do you What do you like about Tampa? Is there been a special spot that you like to go to, or? Uh, I really like the close uh, the Chick Fil A. It's really close to where I live, so I just go there okay. all the time. Is there no Chick Fil A in Minnesota? Uh, there is, but it's it's a trek to get there. Is it? Yeah. 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 Well, thank you guys very much for coming on. We've got Bo and Brett Cornier, the brother duo out of Mount Minnesota. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, here on the Breakaway Podcast, live from Top, Sh- Top Shelf Bar and Grill, here above our lovely home and Advent Health Center Ice. Make sure to come out and enjoy the wonderful food and drink they've got going on here. And now our second group of guys to talk to, coming from Elite. They got a Tampa native and a native of Canada. Quite polar opposites. From Elite, we'll welcome Jake Duhame and Adam Creighton. Well, what's up, boys? How are we doing? Good. How are you? Good. You just got done with practice. How did it go? It was all right. It was fun. Just all right? Yeah. Just worked on power play penalty kill. Nice. How'd that go? It was fun. Good? Yeah. So we'll start off with this, guys. What are you, how are you guys feeling about being back in the full swing here in the regular season? It's great. I miss hockey. Off season, it was kind of a bummer the way the season ended, getting bounced to the Nationals, but just more eager to get back at it and take what's ours. I, mean, I, haven't, I haven't really had a season uh, last year. And then the year before that, got cut short. So this is kind of a starting over kind of thing. Yeah, feels good. So, uh, Adam, you know, what's it like growing up in Canada? You know, down here in Tampa, you know, really a big difference in how hockey is treated in Canada as far as to a state like Florida. What's it like growing up there and and really taking hockey seriously? You'd probably be surprised. I mean, like, I get treated really good down here in Florida. Um, I came down here in, in January and uh, skated with the clear water ice storm. And uh, I mean, it was really good hockey and it's not, it's not a, yeah, I mean, I really liked it. You really like it down here? That's good. And so now back to Jake, I know you're a Tampa native. You know, what's it like growing up and taking hockey really seriously in an area that's, you know, not necessarily a hockey mecca in Tampa? 
I mean, yeah, it's obviously different because down here it's all baseball, football, and just it's kind of hard to get a crowd out here. But I just stick to it. It's what I love doing. So it's, so it's always so, been fun. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I dig it playing too, and and it's it's to see how the game has grown has been really great down here too. Um, Adam, what's it like having a former NHLer as a as a dad? You don't really think too much of it. Um, just kinda, I kind of like see him, see him as a dad. Or some some people, uh, there's some people that have watched him play before. Um, I know, like uh, people that watch the Lightning and the Sabers. I've been with them before, and people are like, uh, they want they want to, they have a card that they want signed or something like that. They recognize him, and I mean, it's kind of. I, I just see him as like my dad, so I don't really, uh, I don't really think too much of it. Yeah. Does he have a Does he have a favorite story that, I, or do you have a favorite story that he likes to tell? I, I not really. No. I, he's, no. He's got a lot, so I can't really memorize them all right now. All right. All right. Uh, what do you guys like to do outside of hockey? Um, during the off season, I like doing a lot of golfing. Not too good at it, but it was fun. Uh, who, whoever is. Yeah. Honestly. And um. Just going to the gym, working on myself. Now I hear, Adam, you're in the golf too. I also heard there was a uh, a battle on the fairway between you and one of your teammates. Tell us about that for a little bit. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Tough looks. <laughs> Tough looks. That doesn't count. I, it was my first time. You know, I, I shouldn't have lost that. That's. I wouldn't even count that actually. Oh, who'd you play? I played uh, Justin Walker. <laughs> and uh, I'm I'm actually embarrassed. <laughs> oh yeah. Is he that bad? Oh well. I don't really like to call people bad or whatever because <laughs> I'm not too good. But I, that's a good answer. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, here. Ah. Oh, wonderful. So, Adam, you've been here since January. What do you like the most about living down here in Tampa? Well, actually, I uh, I came down January, and then I I went back home in uh, at the beginning of April, and then I came back just now in uh, or in August for the season. Um, so when I came down in January, I spent the first two months not really like I ha I wasn't skating at all, and then I started skating with the Clearwater Ice Storm, um, U16 and U18 teams, and uh, I really liked it. So I wanted to maybe play down here next year, especially with all like the lockdowns in Canada and uh, there wasn't um, there wasn't much hockey in, um, between like January and uh, March or April. Even August, I mean the rinks just started opening up a little bit but yeah, um, so I really like, I wanted to come down here really bad and um, yeah, so I found uh, Tampa Bay Juniors and I really liked the program and so yeah. Nice. Now back to you. Are you've lived here now most of your life. Is is there a favorite spot you go to? Favorite beach? What, what's your favorite part about living here in this beautiful city? Man, everywhere is so nice here. I'd say maybe um, Siesta Key Beach for sure. A lot of people go there for my school. It's fun playing spike ball, volleyball, whatever. Oh, spike ball! I love it. That's a fun sport. Maybe the best on the team. It, oh, really? Yeah, for sure. Nice. Now talk about what other. Do you guys play any other sports besides besides hockey, especially growing up? Growing up, all I played baseball for one year, and I had to quit because I started taking hockey more seriously, and just baseball was my thing. Yeah, I heard you were kind of gross at baseball, though. I was, I was decent at it, I'd say, but not as gross as some of the kids who lived down here, but I was all right. No, not, not Aaron Judge, huh? No, not quite. Yeah, Adam, what about you? Um, well, like, I mean, in Canada, it's, it's a little different. Um, hockey gets taken more seriously than, than most other sports. There is there is football and baseball. Um, there's there's good programs like certain programs that are that are good for those sports. But I mean, growing up, most of my friends and most people I knew they, they played hockey. No matter if it whatever it was like single A, double A, triple A, whatever. So, right. so back to you. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, about your family and how how you got into hockey. Um. Well, my dad was, he's played hockey all his life. He played NCAA Division Three over at Norwich, grade school. And he's always had a love for a game. He's coaching um, a squirt team down in 
down where I live, Ellington, Gulf Coast Flames. Shout out to them. Okay. And um, I don't know, he just really got me into it. Ever since I was four, I started skating and started playing travel hockey. We lived in Nashville for a little bit for Nashville All-Stars. And then we moved back down here when I was around seven, joined the Gulf Coast Flames, or Flames organization, treated me very well. And recently came TBJ. One of, my, one of my best decisions. Uh, training here is amazing. Coach is awesome. It's fun to get with teammates, you know. Just great experience for sure. All the way around. Good. I will, I'm always glad to hear that. Um, all right. Funny question now. If you guys were stranded on an island and you only had the chance to pick two people to bring with you, who would you choose? Oh. On the team? Yeah. Oh, no. I'd say, I'd say Andrew Lewis for one. He's kind of more owl guy, and um, I'd say Kuba, Philip Kuba. He's a strong kid, you know. Him and I can go fight off whatever we're dealing with, and lose just our. Yeah. I feel like Kuba's got the brains too for that. Yeah, he's a smart one. Yeah, a smart kid. Yeah, uh, and we'll close up with this. Uh, what are you guys looking forward to most? This? Oh, sorry. Wait, 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 hold on. We forgot to ask you. Who, who would you take on an island if you were stranded all alone? Honestly, probably Pernay Prasanna. <laughs> just because he's so smart. So I just feel like he'd know what to do in every situation. But then, like, probably uh, I'd take another guy. Probably be... Probably, probably Duhame actually. Let's go. Because hey. like two stronger guys and like fight off whatever, and then we got Pernay who's like can do all our. Um, us chat. Yeah, he knows what to do. You send, send him a way to build all the stuff. Yeah. Nice. And oh, we'll wrap it up with this. No, we'll actually wrap it up. Um, what are you guys looking to uh, most this season? Um, just look forward to getting better, bettering myself, watching the team get better, watch us mesh together, come as a group. Because last year, we started doing that a little bit late, unfortunately. But when we did, it was perfect. You know, had a great run through playoffs and nationals. And hoping to get back to that point and possibly go farther. What are you looking to? What are you looking forward to most this year? Oh, um, well, obviously, I want to win the. Uh, I want to try and win the championship, the uh, national championship. That'd be something. Um, especially my first year here. Um, I'm really, I'm really excited to, honestly, to be on the road too. Like I know m most people don't like being on the road, but I feel like the bus trips are gonna be pretty fun, and the hotels They're are gonna be fun, and the showcases too. I'm excited for that. So yeah. Yeah, no, the bus trips are always a fun oh. time. I can speak to that one. Going there. back from nationals, what was that 12, 14 hours? That was that was what it, well we we stopped off at like a bunch. I think we stopped off at like Sonic, and like half the yeah, team Charleston, went to Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alrighty, guys. Hey, well, thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm sure we'll have you back on at some point. If not, we'll continue to touch base through the rest of the season. Yeah. And uh, thanks, guys, very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Adam Creighton and Jake Duhame here on the breakaway. Well, that'll just about wrap things up for us here. We're going to look ahead real fast to the upcoming week. On Saturday, the Tampa Bay Juniors will travel to Palm Beach this weekend to take on the Palm Beach Typhoon. The Typhoon have yet to play a game this year in their inaugural season. As Coach Strott said, they're owned by the Northern Cyclones and are the latest edition of the Florida edition. And the game times for that will be 3.20 for a premiere and 6 for a lead on Saturday, while Sunday's contest will take place at 12.30 and 3.10. All of this action can be watched on Hockey TV. Once again, this is Christian Adams. Thanks to Garrett Strott. And uh, the Corniers and Jake Duhame and Adam Creighton saying so long from Top Shelf here at Advent Health Center Ice. We're wrapping it up. This has been the first episode of The Breakaway. Thank you, everybody.